House of the Dragon introduces a new prophecy with big implications for the story, but it raises questions about who in Game of Thrones may have known about it. House of the Dragon is set 200 years before Game of Thrones, and it tells the story of House Targaryen during their years as the ruling dynasty of Westeros. Specifically, the series is focused on King Viserys I and the civil war that breaks out over who will succeed him. In House of the Dragon Season 1 premiere, Viserys names his daughter, Rhaenyra, as his heir and shares with her a Targaryen family prophecy passed down from king to heir since Aegon the Conqueror. The prophecy came in Dream of Aegon's where he saw a terrible winter, gusting out of the distant north, that would destroy the world of the living. He believed that only a Targaryen seated on the Iron Throne could unite the realm and defend it from this destruction. Aegon called his dream the Song of Ice and Fire. Across Game of Thrones, and even more so in the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, prophecies about a savior figure who will stop a second long night, aka a White Walker invasion, are frequently referenced. These include the prince that was promised prophecy as well as the second coming of Azor Ahai, with characters like Daenerys Targaryen, Stannis Baratheon, and Jon Snow all consider potential saviors at one point or another. Aegon's dream seems to be another such prophecy, but House of the Dragon is the first time it's mentioned in either the books or shows. This raises questions about if any of the Targaryens in Game of Thrones knew about Aegon's dream. 